Hey all and uh, welcome back. In today's session, we will be looking at how we can customize the generated HTML report. And in case if you haven't watched my earlier video on uh, how to generate HTML report in Sopia free version, then please do watch it. So in today's video, uh, like as I said, uh, we'll be looking at uh, customizing this uh, default generated HTML report. So for example, changing the uh, title or it might be adding the execution timestamp and also uh, uh, changing the file names dynamically. Okay, so these are the three things which we are going to cover uh, as part of today's session. The final output uh, would look something uh, like this. So where we have customized the uh, report title and also we have added the execution timestamp and the test reports are getting generated dynamically. Uh, in order to achieve this, there are a couple of changes which we would have to do it uh, in the build.xml file and also in the style sheet. So let me show you that. Here is the default build.xml build file which we have used in our previous video to generate the HTML report using Sopia and NAND. And uh, I have made some changes to this build.xml file. So this is the updated uh, version of the build.xml and uh, here we have added uh, the t stamp task okay so basically uh, what it does is uh, it will allow us to set the current date and time in a given format and this the same would be appended to the file name set runtime okay basically we are trying to append uh, the files with the timestamp so here uh, this is as you are already aware this is the default JUnit task which gets triggered and which will help us in generating the HTML file, right? So uh, along with that, we have added this test time and also like I have added a task uh, wherein uh, this command will rename the generated JUnit or not no frames HTML into SOPIA results appending the timestamp details. So this is one change which we are going to do in uh, build.xml file. And uh, let me open the uh, style sheet which has been used, right? So it's already in C. So pure reports, so which is nothing but uh, this style report. If you're able to recollect uh, in our previous video, we have used the JNIT style sheet from ant etc directory, right? So the default uh, JNIT style sheet. But here I have customized it and I have placed it in so pure reports. So let me open it for you. Let me open this in Notepad. So here it is. Let me tell you what are the changes I have done. Okay, so the first thing is uh, if you scroll up, we have commented the default uh, Excel parameter where uh, the default title has been defined, right? Unit test results. I have commented this and I have just copied it, copied it and changed it to software test execution report. This can be your project uh, name or the requirement name or it can be anything, right? So you can just uh, add your uh, report details or the names accordingly and the second change what I've done is like I've added this uh, another parameter so which uh, under the name execution date and I've included uh, this particular script okay which will uh, create the new uh, date timestamp and uh, scroll down and look out for page data section So here in the page data section, right? Uh, just add one more uh, row. Basically, this is a table structure uh, where we are uh, just copy the existing one. So here, for your information, I've commented the existing one. So just replicate it and uh, modify uh, the code or insert this row. Okay. So wherein it would be taking the execution timestamp and uh, the values would be fetched from this particular parameter, exe date. This is, those are the two major changes which we have done in uh, build.xml file and uh, JUnit uh, no frames style sheet. Okay, so let's run and uh, look at the customized JUnit report. So let me invoke the command prompt. Let me navigate to the workspace location. And now instead of uh, running and test report, right? So which we used to do uh, previously. Now we'll have to make a few changes. Otherwise, uh, you can still run the same uh, command. Only thing is you need to keep uh, 
the build.xml file right? so, as is. So, but in my case, I have just changed the build.xml or I have taken a copy of it and modified and uh, I have renamed to build.html.xml build file. So, if I want to run uh, build.html build file instead of build.xml file, right? So, all I have to do is uh, I have to give the file name along with and command. So, let me just give iPhone uh, F Mysterious file and the file name build html dot xml followed by space and then the target which is nothing but test report let's run it now that the execution is complete and build has been succeeded so let's look at the generated html file so let me go to sopi reports folder and click on html so this is the latest report you can see 1247 and 1246 let me open it with chrome so here you go so this is the report which has been recently generated and if you look at right so it's the same so your test execution report we have this and the execution time stamp has been added so it was executed around 21st may 1246 am this is how we can uh, customize the uh, generated HTML report wherein you can have uh, the, your own uh, customized title and you can add your execution timestamp and uh, you can also generate uh, the reports dynamically. So, next time when I rerun it, so I, I should be able to see a new set of uh, report being generated in the HTML folder. So we have just rerun and the build is successful. So let's go get into the report section. As you can see, like uh, this is the another report, right? So it's not overriding. Basically, it's generating at runtime. So let me open it in Chrome. Here you go. So these are the three various SOPI reports generated. Now where it has been getting overrided. That's it. That's all for today. If you like my videos, uh, please feel free to share it with your friends, uh, like it and subscribe. Thank you.